Hey, it's MJ and Andre from Esquire, and today we're here at the MCX e-commerce center where we're taking a look at the office and warehouse of Zalora. We're here with Zalora CEO, Paolo Campos, and he's gonna take us on a tour around their new office. Welcome! So welcome to the uh, MCX e-commerce center. Uh, this is the name of our new facility that, we, that we're sitting in today. Uh, very excited to have moved, moved and completed the project in October of 2020. Uh, and this is now Zalora Philippines headquarters in the Philippines, uh, covering both our office uh, for our corporate functions as well as our warehouse, uh, housing all of our local stock. So this is uh, the largest uh, e-commerce and most uh, kind of, uh, sophisticated e-commerce facility in the country now. Um, and we currently hold close to 2 million items in, uh, in, in the warehouse, uh, supported by a full team, of course, uh, delivering all of the Zalora orders to our happy customers. So we had previously uh, been set up across two locations. We had a location uh, in further south in Carmona, which was just our warehouse facility. Uh, we had the need then to expand the warehouse and to, to add scale. And as we've been growing, uh, including but even before the pandemic, but including during the pandemic, uh, we had previously had also a head office location in the CPD and the AGC. Yeah, uh, we're very happy to have worked with uh, our partner and landlord from the Ayala Corp. They have a park infrastructure, so we uh, the unit with the uh, AC, the Yala Park team, focused on uh, public-private partnerships in particular. We know that this is uh, part of uh, the MCX concession. That they essentially built a facility for us uh, and built to suit the need. It was very much a collaboration around optimizing both the office portion and the warehouse portion um, accordingly. Uh, we hope it will be a blueprint or uh, template for you know, as e-commerce grows in the Philippines, that this is really a, a showcase of the ideal and optimal uh, e-commerce setup covering both uh, of course the fulfillment portion but also the office portion. And then this is interesting to think about this specific question pre and post pandemic because I think pre-pandemic it's very clear that the order office space in a way that helps to define your culture. Um, you know, some of the business literature suggests that in order to maximize innovation within the company, that company should actually look to maximize the number of collisionable instances. So the times that you run into someone uh, from the company, uh, you know, in the hallway, in the lunchroom, in the water cooler, so to speak, uh, maximizing those uh, times that people run into each other and therefore get to talk about either work or, uh, or other things, really maximizes uh, kind of the innovation mindset within the company, uh, as well as, to your question, makes people happy. Um, I think what's going to emerge post-pandemic is some hybrid form, where, as I've already said, there's a lot of time we are going to implement these flexible work arrangements that people can choose to work from home. Um, but nevertheless, I think what the office will always be an important place for is collaboration, innovation, learning, apprenticeship, and community and celebration. Those are the types of things that you can't really replace uh, in the Zoom, Zoom world. 
Oh, we have a bunch of cool things again. We're waiting for pandemic to seem to fully realize and experience all of these cool things. But uh, some of the coolest features I think would be our a very scenic and very uh, happily fourth floor rooftop. It overlooks the sunset. So um, when we when we come together and we'll come together post post COVID world, uh, it'll very much be our celebration area. Uh, we look forward to having hosting a lot of our parties uh, yeah. and events there. Uh, so that would be one of our uh, party rooftop, uh, and as well as our production studio. So our production studio, uh, that's one of the areas of our setup that is really upgraded since we moved here. We were in a very small uh, space at BGC, and now it's a uh, kind of very, uh, very scenic studio um, that allows us to. You know, to really have a special kind of uh, space for where we shoot our products. Uh, those are just some of the, the cool things. Come here, also a lot of, I don't know call it cool, but functional things. We have an on site clinic that will be staffed, uh, again, post COVID times will be staffed uh, with a mix of both cool features, I would say, but, but also important and practical and useful functional features. So, how it would work is you would order from us typically on your phone. 90% uh, of our orders are now done through the mobile, whether it be maybe through our mobile app, Android or iOS or mobile site, um, you would then receive your order confirmation and that would trigger our order management system uh, to process, to start processing your order. Your order would then be assigned to the inventory floor where you would have a series of our team members with mobile picking devices. So they would actually have a mobile Android phone on their wrists. It's like a very big wrist watch. Uh, so across the four floors, you would have team members picking, picking the items. The team member would then bring your uh, picked item uh, to our essential conveyor system. We do have some big products from the multiple floors down to the ground floor where our outbound stations would then involve um, another Zalora team member who would be packing your orders and they would be taking the, uh, the pick orders which come to you and come to them actually in shopping baskets. And at that point is where we do the quality control so that um, that person that packs your order verifies that what the item in front of them is what's matching the screen. So there's a visual check. Uh, they would pack them and the packet basis uh, size of your order and then we would uh, have all of the pack orders put onto a conveyor belt that ultimately uh, ends up with our third-party logistics, uh, exclusive third-party logistics partner in Trego and we would then dispatch from this facility all of the orders out to the various uh, last mile delivery hubs uh, that the partner in Trego would have.